Hey guys, it's me. I am baking again today. I am going to make almond flour chocolate chip cookies. These are not normal chocolate chip cookies. They don't spread out and get real thin and crispy. The top gets golden brown and the inside kind of stays very like gooey and, um, and soft and they're really, 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 really good. So I am going to show you how I make these and I hope you guys love them. Okay, so first things first, I have almond flour. To that almond flour, I'm going to add baking powder and salt. The full recipe will be on my website. And I'm just gonna give that a good whisk. Again, my almond flour I keep in the freezer just so it doesn't go rancid. And so it's important that you let it come to room temperature. So that's all mixed together, I'm just gonna set it aside. In this bowl, I'm going to add, I melted together um, I melted down coconut oil and I added my nut milk to it. You just want to get this combined. It's important that it's at the same temperature. You want everything that you're baking with at room temperature. To that I'm going to add three eggs, but I only want um, two full eggs and an egg white. I'm gonna give that a good whisk. Add them to my mixture. Vanilla. And monk fruit sugar. Now that you have your wet ingredients all combined and your dry ingredients, you want to combine the two. Perfect. You then want to add, I like dark chocolate chips. These are lilies. So they're made with um, stevia. Doesn't it look delicious? Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean up so that I can then get all of this onto a baking sheet. Okay, so everything's cleaned up. I am going to use my one of my favorite kitchen tools. It is a cookie scoop. So this I believe is a two tablespoon. I could be wrong though. So I'm just going to get them onto my tray. So now I have my tray. You want them to be like domed like this. You don't want to push them down. So my oven is at 375. It's been preheating. I'm going to pop these in the oven. They only take about 10 to 13 minutes at most. The top will be golden brown. The bottoms will be a little bit brown. And so you just want to get them in there. Don't uh, peek at them. I know that's something that I used to do. I just let things cook now. So into the oven. So another one of my favorite things about this cookie recipe is that this dough freezes really, really well. So that's actually what I'm gonna do with the rest of this dough. I'm just going to get it into a baking dish or a tray and throw it into the freezer overnight. And then I can throw them into a bag tomorrow and I can make cookies whenever I want them. And we're back. So it has been about 14 minutes. I'm going to pull them out. And this is exactly what you want to see. So the tops are golden brown and you can see that the sides on the bottom have kind of lifted up a little bit. I'm going to let them cool for a few minutes there, get them onto this rack and that is it. And I hope you love them.